Your tools are your weapons. Excuse me. And today's scripture reference is... Hey everyone, I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is, you're already famous in heaven, and now it's happening here. You're already famous in heaven, and now it's happening here. <coughs> Excuse me. And today's scripture reference is Genesis 12, 1 through 2. The Lord's really been bringing the scripture um, to my mind and to my spirit uh, quite a bit lately. And it's the call of Abram. And it reads, the Lord had said to Abram, leave your native country, your relatives and your father's family and go to the land that I will show you. I will make you into a great nation. I will bless you and make you famous and you will be a blessing to others. So this message is not for everybody. It's for a very specific group of people. Uh, take it to the Lord for confirmation. It should, it should confirm something the Lord has already spoken to you in your spirit, something you're experiencing. Um, and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But if this message is for you, they are talking about you uh, in heaven and everything that you're doing here on the earth uh, to um, expand the kingdom of God, you know, to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. You know, there aren't a lot of people uh, on this earth who you know, walk out the pages of the book written about them in uh, Psalm 139, 16. But you are one of these people. And because you've allowed the Lord to break you out of Satan's matrix, to break you out of these uh, sin cycles in your life, you've plugged in to the Lord's systems and models, which include living a repentive lifestyle, you know, um, walking in the spirit, not in the flesh, you know, you don't crave uh, sin in your life. It sickens you and you walk in the spirit and you want your life to be an act of worship. You're a living sacrifice. As it says in the book of Romans, you've allowed yourself to become a vessel for the Holy Spirit. You've submitted your will to the Lord to do his work on this earth. And you've denied yourself and you've picked up your cross and fo you're following Jesus Christ. And many of you have left your native country. You've left family. You've, you know, left property. You've left um, people behind who were speaking against your destiny. And you followed the Lord's divine instruction in your life. You know, the Lord sees every conversation. He hears every conversation. He looks high. He looks low. Some of you had people in your life who were not for you. And it was really the spirit behind them who was on assignment to try to keep you out of your assignment. But many of you, you listen to the Lord, even when it sometimes when it would hurt and you move forward in your purpose, you know, you've had tunnel vision in your purpose. And because of this, you are already famous in heaven. And now the Lord is expanding your territory here on this earth. He's elevating you. He's uh, given you a platform. He's increasing your spiritual gifting and your gifts are going to make room for you. You know, um, it's your gifting that is really going to help elevate you uh, and elevate your name on this earth. And the Lord, for those of you who this message is for, has put you through um, very extreme testing and trials and tribulations. He stretched you because he wanted to make sure that you would not deny him and that when the going got rough, that you are going gets tough, that you weren't going to uh, get going back to your old sin cycles. You know, he wanted to make sure that you, when you were stretched, that you were going to rely on him, that you were going to lean into him, not fall back into old sin cycles. And many of you have passed those tests. And because of this, you know, you have a team of ministering and warring angels already around you. They're leading, guiding, and directing you into your purpose. And their job is to help you. Um... Crispy jumbo shrimp is back at Del Taco with an irresistible new buttery garlic parmesan sauce.
fulfill your destiny, which is ultimately to glorify God and bring many people, many sheep back into the fold for Jesus Christ on this earth. So you have a shared uh, assignment with these angels and they know who you are and their purpose is to assist you in your assignment, which ultimately, as I said, is glorifying God and spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ on this earth. And so, uh, you know, just keep moving forward, but be expectant that, um, you know, your name is already circulating in circles that you aren't even, even aware of. And people are watching you and the Lord is elevating you. You know, it says in Psalm 75 that, uh, I believe it's 75 7. It's God alone who judges. He decides who will rise and who will fall. And in your case, He's uh, chosen you for a specific assignment. And part of that includes, uh, you know, making your name known on this earth uh, so that others will see God's glory on your life, others will see God's favor on you, and will see that when you plug into the Lord systems and models, when you get into Abraham covenant with the Lord, that, um, you know, anything is possible when you have God on your side, when you have God on your team, when you submit your will to his and live your life according to biblical principles that, um, you know, the Lord has plans to prosper you and not harm you. And so, you know, many of you, it's really not even about you. It's about uh, glorifying God. And he's chosen you to really um, be an example of what can happen when you submit yourself to the Lord. So again, uh, not sure who this is for today, but uh, many of you are already experiencing this. You're already seeing how he's increasing your platform. He's already beginning to prosper you uh, financially. And this is only going to continue. And just buckle up and get ready because you haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> it's going to get, um, it's going to get, uh, it's going to be a wild ride, you guys, because when you submit yourself to the Lord, anything is possible. You know, when God is for us, who can be against us? And so I'm releasing another word today. You're riding the wave. And that's exactly what's happening here. You've you've plugged in to the Holy Spirit and his will for your life. And when you do this, you are unstoppable in the kingdom of God. When you're attached to the vine, when you're fruitful for the kingdom of God, when you've completely submitted your will to his will, that's when the Lord can really utilize you and he's going to utilize you. So get ready. <laughs> I hope, I hope those of you who've had a chance to rest, I hope you've gotten your rest because your resting period Period is coming to a close and just know that it's about to get very busy you're gonna have lots of appointments lots of business opportunities contracts um, and always you know be watch out for those counterfeits because the enemy is gonna try to throw things at you to get you off track but you're too smart for that you're not gonna fall for anything that um, your Heavenly Father doesn't approve because you take everything to him and and you know, get his stamp of approval before you move forward on anything. So again, I'm not sure who this message is for today. Please take it to the Lord for confirmation. If you feel the Holy Spirit's leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. I pray over every seed that the Lord will increase it a thousandfold. I pray for all of you who receive these messages that the Lord will go before you, that he'll follow behind you, that he'll lead you in Psalm 91 protection. And uh, just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ and stay blessed. Thank you, little soldier. <clears throat>